Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be uh, using SolarFire's very useful animate feature to uh, animate the chart in order to demonstrate what the difference is between a daytime chart and what the difference is between a nighttime chart. Um, basically, in this chart, we've this is a normal chart. I've just taken out all of the houses, and all you can see is the ascendant descendant axis. Um, so the ascendant is over here on the left, and this is the eastern horizon, and then the descendant is over here on the right. Uh, I have this chart set for today, June 9th, 2010, uh, at about 4.55 in the morning here in Denver, Colorado. Now, right now the sun is just below the descendant, so it's actually just before it rose in the morning, at about 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start animating the chart, and you can actually what you see is that when you move the chart forward by one minute uh, a second that it actually you can actually see the sun rising over the horizon so at that point where the sun moves just above the ascendant or just above the ascendant descendant axis that's literally the sun rising over the eastern horizon in the morning um, and at that point when the sun rises over the horizon of course it becomes daytime so at that point um, the chart becomes diurnal, or a daytime chart. And then we'll just animate it and move the chart forward. And here we see the sun moving during the course of the morning until eventually around midday it culminates uh, where it's directly overhead in the sky. And then eventually, as it goes through the afternoon and the evening, it moves towards setting uh, on the other side of the horizon. So there, right here what we see, it's about to go underneath the ascendant-descendant axis over the descendant. And at this point, when the sun goes underneath the descendant, it's literally setting underneath the horizon. That's what's being depicted in the chart. And at that point, uh, it literally becomes nighttime. The sun goes underneath the horizon, and thus the chart becomes nocturnal, or a nighttime chart. So the nocturnal sect becomes the sect that's in favor. So we'll just animate it and keep it moving. And we see the sun moving. It's about 10, 11 o'clock at night now, and right around midnight it's at its lowest point and then eventually it comes back up the next day and comes over the horizon and then again it becomes a diurnal chart um, so what I'm trying to demonstrate here is just that the sect of the chart is completely dependent upon what side of the horizon or the ascendant descendant axis that the Sun is on if the Sun is anywhere above the ascendant descendant axis then it's a day chart if it's anywhere below the ascendant-descendant axis like it is now, then it's a nighttime chart. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, that's the, the primary uh, criteria for determining the sect of the chart.